first time you've been here and seen the Sun Devil name, Arizona State logo pop from the top 25. What would that mean to you? Uh, it's a great feeling for me and my teammates and the coaching staff. You know, I've been through a lot, you know, my four years here, and uh, it's just a great feeling just to know that all the hard work that we put in together is, is finally paying off. You look at uh, the, the team, the last team to go 7 and out here, and some of the guys that are on it, some pretty big time names. I mean, not getting too far down the road, but how, how you know, much does it mean to you to be kind of in that company right now with the way you started the season? It feels great. Uh, coach Harley, you know, you know, preach, you know, winning culture this year from day one. So we follow his game plan and we've been working super hard. And every day when we walk into the arena, we see God's name hanging up on the rafters. And then in the practice facility, we have God's names on the wall. So something that we all aspire, you know, to be alike. So it's a great feeling. How do you keep your foot on the gas here and not kind of rest on the accomplishment of today? Um, you know, it's only six games. We have a lot of games left, not even halfway through the season. So something that we got to, you know, keep stay level-headed and know that Every game is going to be a tough one because, you know, we have a little bit of respect now. So we got to, you know, push hard and practice hard every day, you know, follow what Coach is saying and, and things will work out. Do you think the improved play of the front court is really helping you personally as well as <coughs> Cody and Shannon? Uh, most definitely, you know, Melo, Daquan, and Tally, you know, are doing so many good things that it helps. It makes the defenders, you know, suck in on them. And then when they, that happens, they have to, you know, they leave me open or leave Shannon or Cody open. So it makes it a lot easier for me instead of last year where it was kind of five guys on the perimeter. So, you know, I'm happy to have those guys on the team. Do you think it also kind of helps the rebounding in a way? Because not only are you scoring at a real high clip, also your rebounding is really uh, taken to the different level. Most definitely, you know, when, when Melo crashes the rebound or Daquan, they got to box them out. So it leaves weak side re rebounds open or long rebounds for me or the rest of the guards. So it makes the job much easier for me. Trey, how does it feel to be the top ranked team in the state of Arizona right now? Uh, it feels great, um, but you know, much respect to you know Arizona program. They're going to do big things. Uh, you know, they have a rich, a rich culture over there. So you know, I would, I wouldn't be surprised that they be back in New York soon to come. Do you and Cody talk about just how far you guys and the program has come since your freshman year, being four-year guys? Yeah, me and Cody are you know we're in, we're in heaven right now, just you know, <laughs> where where we've been you know from the beginning, but. Uh, we're, we we have a group message. Me, Shannon, Cody, the seniors, and the whole team. We just want we we said we're gonna you know repeat the process. We're at zero and zero now. It's a new month coming up in December, so we, we're trying to repeat it again and you know and see what happens. You know, new month, uh, December. You guys are gonna play some Power Five teams after the San Francisco game. How do you feel like you maintain the level of offensive success you guys have had as a team? I think we've been doing a great job of sharing the ball and. Whoever's hot, we keep going to him. You know, Romello did well in the first game. Cody did well, and then the second game, I had a solid game, and then Shannon had a solid game. And then, so the, you know, the coach knows how to put the guys in uh, in position to be successful, and the teammates feed off the energy of who's uh, who's hot at the time. So, you know, we we all about winning and, and preaching. You know, to you know, to just be a team and and just all care about winning at the end of the day. So, you know, I'm just happy that that's all we care about. You came here last time with a career high of 35 points. Now you're here with a career high of 40. Uh, can you just talk about that game and, and what you were feeling on the court? Um, to be honest, I, at first I really didn't think the game was going well for me. But then, you know, my, my teammates found me. I think Shannon hit me with a couple open shots, so he got me going. And that's why I always preach when people ask me, you know, what am I doing differently? It's not really me. It's my teammates. You know, everybody can shoot an open shot, but they're, they're, they're the guys that, you know, get me open to shoot the shot, so, um, but, you know, at the, at the point in time, we hit a little rough patch, we were down, and I felt like as a senior, as a captain, I had to, you know, assert myself a little bit more, so I try, you know, be more aggressive and attack the paint and create shots for my guys. You looked like you guys were having fun out there together. Can you talk about how fun it is to play with these guys? It's great. Um, I've never felt like this. I've never won on any level, especially like a championship or anything like that, beating the ranked team, so it's something that I've never experienced before, so. It's a great feeling, and I hopefully that we continue to do things special here.